All right. Michigan in the Xfinity series open. And uh, Chris and I have a setup from Daniel. And hopefully it will have that normal crazy long run pace that pays off for me. But number 14 car in a 24 car race. So not too worried about how this goes. Don't have a whole lot to lose. Michigan also not a good track for me. It's one of those that um, you're not going to the yellow line. The balance of throttle is extremely key. And uh, lane choice for passing is very, 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 very difficult. Uh, it's kind of Pocono-like sometimes where completing a pass is uh, a multiple lap situation for me, but you got to be aggressive and try to get it done in one. So hopefully I can save the tires a bit, have a little speed after we get some green laps in, but probably not. And that's not going to matter with whatever setup I have because just not a place that I've ever really been good at. The officials don't like the way you're driving. Your laps won't count until you reset the car and start over. Pit box I'm just going to do one more, uh, one more pit exit here. Five, three, just two, to make sure that I know one, how to not overdrive right pit exit and go up on the track and get a penalty. So, can go in a little bit deeper into pit road. We already know that. Underdriving it. Probably won't have to do a green flag stop, but just in case. Chris is learning new things. He said he's never done a race here, so will be interesting to see how someone that is as quick as he is on the short track stuff see how he goes uh, out of his comfort zone not that short tracks are his comfort zone he's fast at everything he does so um, yeah it'll be interesting to see what he can do I didn't give him the qualifying setup and he probably doesn't didn't know about Q tape, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he's gonna be quick. He'll get it figured out. And if this thing gains speed as it goes, like the sets normally do, then he's gonna be really quick. But um, one of those races where. No idea how it's going to go, because there's a whole lot of setup shops in here. So everyone uh, might get antsy and wreck each other. But we got a whole bunch of paint schemes now. And the whole grid should have schemes. We got 65 laps. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Chris does. He will probably end up beating us up. The strength of field is 4,531. Let's take opportunities. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing we always do in a NASCAR race and chill for a bit. Learn. And then hopefully move up at the end. Uh, 
Half the field is on the grid. So we're starting on the inside, and we're Five cars not going to be trying to win it. You have three additional sets of tires for this race. We got three sets of tires, so that is Still waiting on two not going to be a grid. concern. Waiting on the final car to grid means that we got what 16 laps that we got to do on each set. Thousand five hundred strength of field. So just above what my I rating is now. So I'm dropped to forty four. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Close, pit road is closed. Catch up to He was gone for a while there. I had a blink out in practice, so hopefully that was my blink out for the day. Hundred and eleven track temp. Not crazy hot. But not super grip like it would be if it was eighty. Go green, stay focused. Chris is on the outside in the red and white car. Red car is off. 13. Green, green, green. Car outside. He's just trying to get out of the way right now. He did not get a good start there. Go ahead and back off. Because we're entering so low and the bottom gets really dicey sometimes. Already got one spinning out. I don't think he hit the inside wall, so he'll be coming back at us. Alright, we're all clear to move up. I haven't raced Dawn in a while. I recognize the name, I think, from NIS last year or two years ago. But now we learn. Try not to push it over the limit and watch ahead. I'm running eight to one, uh, just because that feels more comfortable for me. I can barely move the wheel and get it to do what I want it to do. Now, if you're running eight to one and turning hard left and trying to fight through tight, then it's going to be bad news. But. I am just baby in the wheel to the left. It just helps me, especially at tracks like this, where it can snap out pretty quick. Okay, Chris is 
is getting pretty low, and he's going to find out very quickly that that single lane down low is not very good sometimes off the corner, although everyone is down there now. So maybe it is. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. too much because that will just burn him off since there's no rubber up there and you're just carrying more speed team gets into the wall I don't want to go down low so I'm just going to lift off spot and lost the spot, sit in 19th. Car is very neutral. I think we're going to have to get around the 15 in a second, but not going to worry about it yet. Have to. Big slide by the 23 off the bottom.
Alright, so we've got 32 laps that we can go from here. That means we got a fairly large window. Now I guess only 10 lap window, but... Cane on the wall. on entry. May need to just drive it in a bit deeper. And get it to rotate. And then lift off. Try that now because I'm on our tail. And slam it on throttle for no reason again.
thing up here. Yeah. I don't know if it was good. It was better than last lap. Let's just keep trying it, because 20 laps into the run. Might as well use the tires. I just didn't suck. I could pull back away. When you said we're gonna trip over each other as I hit the wall over and over. The rest of the field is pulling away from the car in front of us, so it's not like even if we were quick, we'd be catching up. If that made sense. If I wasn't screwing up, I don't think we'd be catching anyways. I don't think top is where it's at. Felt like we did more down low against this guy. But I think we're just bad. I 
don't even know what to do, like, setup-wise, there's nothing wrong, I mean, it's balanced. I'm just not fast. Driver is not taking it forward. One too many mistakes in the wall has cost this time. And I nearly spin it there. But hey, we're gonna just continue to race for dead last for no reason. So that I can try to figure something out. can't get it to turn into three. I think I need to just point and shoot to the bottom. so much now that we can get the bottom to work good. I mean, I've definitely learned a bit. I just can't get it to drive into the corner that deep like those guys. I don't get how they're turning and driving in that deep. Now, maybe I can if my right front wasn't burnt, but... I do not have that. At least it's been somewhat exciting back here. You never know if I'm going to hit the wall or not. Probably be a good idea to pit now. The window is open. So let's give it a go. Maybe my 32 laps of practice will help the next set of tires. Outside. Outside is clear. Way too slow. But maybe not. Okay. Pit box in. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Okay. Tires. <laughs> 42.53. Top side running. Just killed him. Even like I was just overdriving it up there as well. Go, go, go! Let's be better to the tires this time and hopefully not fall apart.
went full fuel, just keep the balance the same. The problem is, we're coming out right in this pack, and if we're quicker, we're going to have to go way down low to get around them. And watch out for people pitting, so... This pack is going to be pretty scary to get past, but... We're so much quicker that we should be able to ease through it. And then hopefully gain a bit. As everyone else waits to pit for another 5 to 10 laps. Head down here. We got some Outside. clean track. Outside clear. A little more comfortable down low as well with the track time now, so I'm just gonna watch out for the people pitting, not get stuck down low and have to adjust. And also remember that I do not need to be set, setting blazing fast laps. quicker than everyone we're racing, so just drive it around. Maybe I won't beat the tires up this time. We're going to be slowest though at the end, no matter what, because we pit so early, but I had to do something. I had hurt the tires so bad. Better to the tires this time. Maybe we can get a top 15. We are currently the lucky dog. Leader is in the pack ahead of us. The car ahead of these three cars is just out of the pits. But we've got the 16 who's quicker than us coming up, so we gotta get around these three. They may be pitting here. They're not. Just a weird situation. Yeah, I guess they were. Wasn't 100% sure on it. The leader is running. And we're back on the lead lap. 
but will be slower than everyone else. So now it's just keep the car nice and balanced. Don't hurt the right front. Everyone should be pitting in the next two laps. Hopefully we'll have a full green cycle. And there might be pit road penalties, so we might gain some spots from that. We gained a lot of track position here, but we're going to lose it all because everyone's going to be just so much quicker. But I will try to run low and hopefully not eat up that right front as bad. Pit cycle should be completed now. Now we're just in relax mode. Give everyone the outside. Get to the end of the race and see where we cycle. And 13th, a bunch of fresh tires that we just passed that will pass us back very quickly. I am doing something wrong, because it just is not turning. Hey, we're in ninth. You can say we drove our way up to ninth. The cheater way. Actually, it's eighth place. Gotta get off the throttle a little more. Let it turn down there. But there's about 12 cars lined up ready to come past us in a second. So it looks like we are going to fall to about 20th, but it could be even further back. Inside. Yep, yeah, I'm not low, but hey, Clear inside. whatever, you Yellow just forced yourself down. down there, man. It's all good. Pit road is closed right now, pass yeah. 12. There's car, only car, five seven. fucking car, lanes car, to the car, right, car. but... Looks like your car is towed. You'll need to tow back to pit lane. Press and hold Jesus. the reset button and we'll come and get you. Pass the 15 car. Catch the 17 car. Catch the 20 car. Required repairs are 40 minutes, 10 seconds. Optional repairs are 3 minutes, 57 seconds. We can... All right. Stepped away for a moment. Let's just take a look at this as I'm running the bottom as I was the entire time. Pretty easy to see unless you're just a fast idiot that thinks everyone's got to get out of your way. Back to the bottom. Running the bottom. Oh look! I guess there's a gap if he goes to the apron. Also, watch my wheel. He loses it. I'm turning to the right here. He comes up and hits me. And he wrecks himself. And the 12. And me. But hey. You know, sorry. I guess I didn't move out of the way. I should have just ran the line I wanted to when I was passing everyone. 
after I got fresh tires so that they would get out of my way, right? Is that how it works? <sighs> you just can't race these people. You just can't do it. Like, fuck, I am the slowest car on track running a line that I've ran for the last five laps there. And there's eight fucking lanes to the outside that he could go around, but he can't do that. That's not the line that he runs, and they have no adaptability. They have to run the line that they practice over and over and over, and if they have to change something, they rather risk wrecking themselves, like he did, hitting the apron, coming up and hitting us. But, yeah, I'll show you this again. I mean, I can't fake the steering on the iRacing. He's screaming over voice chat that I hooked him on purpose, and he's now going to get me banned from iRacing. I, I can't help that. I, What do you do with that, stupid? Dude's on for uh, top three, top four, probably. And he forces something he didn't have to force. All right, a little bit of bonus. Because Chris just did the craziest thing in the world. He stayed out for green-white checker. There's three green-white green checkers. He's on... 10, 12 lap old tires. He is going to get absolutely swamped here. But, maybe it works out. Does he even know start zones? That's a question. If he, if he didn't know that it was max fuel all the time, does he know about start zones? The pace car is in. Looks like he does. Oh, please survive. Green, green, green. I think he waited till it went green. Two to go. Chris in the 13. Can he hold on? They're just going to fly around him crazy quick here. He's just got to not get ran over. Try to hold on to the best finish he can. He's five wide. Five wide. He's, he's alive. He was alive. He's still alive. He's... He's alive. All right, we'll move on to the next restart. Second green-white checkered. Chris has went in and got tires now. He's learned his lesson. No matter what, though, I think he finishes the same place, taking tires or not. Uh, unless he's got a bunch of speed here. The pipe car is off. Be ready. But he was looking about as slow as I was, so. Green, green, green. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if they just wreck again. But now without a roadblock, I don't think they're getting five wide. Looks like they're going to make it back to they're going to make it back to the white flag one flag one more left to go he's in 15th he just needs a couple of people to wreck, and he's at his position. It's a little tight there, has to lift off. Got one in the wall, but didn't slow him down too much. Everyone should be able to safely get around. He's getting a little bit of a drive there, but not close enough to do anything with it. But a 15th place, and a wreck. So, congrats to Chris. 72i rating lost. Lose 13 safety rating. Uh, yep, we beat three car, though. So, it worked out well for him. He, uh, that move paid off for him.
I still don't get it. Give everyone the high side, 15 lap newer tires, and they still try to go to the apron. But totally my fault, apparently. So go ahead and protest me, man. They're going to laugh at you. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.